Hello everyone and welcome to another SD leak video and big thanks to all of you for an amazing year of 2022 and yeah let's go into a bit of a review of this great year for SDL as we had for sure the most content and the biggest growth ever on this channel and on the whole community in general the discord went up really really high as well uh, the twitch went through the roof too and that's all thanks to you so big thanks to all of the community i hope you had a great year of 2022 as well and i hope you are uh, just as excited as i am for 2023 because i think the best is just around the corner and a lot of things are coming up especially early on in the new year so really looking forward to that and i hope you all do as well as i wanted to go over all the stuff we did this year and just recap how much we actually did um from tournaments over actual growth over new platforms that we got ourselves and yeah let's start here on metrino uh, on shalong and just go over all the tournaments and this these were the first tournaments in 2022 um starting with the big new thing wano launched in late january into early access and we instantly jumped into a big 64 player tournament the one opening tournament it was a great success it was a lot of fun uh, a lot of nice content creators around for that steel division league season 7 going around on at, uh, at a similar time great event as well uh, starting in march really really much fun there are three seasons of steel division league one season of one league and yeah this is page four already on our match arena out of 11 pages so yeah M more than a third of the events of all time and we are around since 2017 we're done this year and yeah one opening tournaments we're part of it one or two v2 tournaments coming up there then we had the nebulous 2v2 tournament we had the which was cre a great game as well it helped out the channel as the third a bit smaller but still great channel hello to all of you nebulous viewers who are still watching um Wano monthly tournament. I haven't forgotten about you guys. Nebulous will come around on the channel as well as soon as we have more patches. And big event here in May, the third SDL charity event. We will for sure do one of these again next year. The fourth charity uh, SDL charity event is for sure around the corner. Uh, should happen in spring 2023 as well. And I'm already excited for that as the community really came together. We pulled over 2,000 euros of uh money there for charity that was really really great and i hope we can go even bigger this season as the community has grown since then as well wano having the monthly tournament series here getting ready for the uh, wano league later in the year steel division having season eight and then later on still ongoing season nine starting nebulous also coming in here again then the Friday night one events with the Eugen Devs, first uh, time thing as well for me that we actually have a reoccurring event where Eugen is talking to us, where I get to speak to them, do a bit of Q&A, uh, big success as well. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. And yeah, if you have any questions, any suggestions for all of these events, feel free to leave them down below or any other ideas for events up to come. I will speak at the end a bit about what I have planned for 2023 and yeah i hope you are just as hyped as i am there and yeah steel vision league here gonzo getting it done once more season seven he won season eight he won up to five titles by now out of eight rounds will be still hard pressed in season nine though as he has to overcome hairs and then maybe incha if he can do that so that will be tough um one monthly finals uh, tournaments great series here and then on page one one league season zero one of the coolest events i've ever run super smooth great players great experience great casters on my side as well um one league season zero was an absolute blast i can't wait for one league season one plan is to get that around when one launches if that takes a bit longer we might launch it a bit earlier we for sure will have more one events in January and February, so keep your eyes open on the Discord and 
on our website for those events to come around. You should be able to sign up for the next Friday Night one already, which will be on the 13th of January. And there should be a 1v1 event coming up already on the website as well. And yeah, that's the other big thing that we got this year. PlaySDL.com is now officially launched, is around, is used for helpful things here. Uh, here, the events should be, obviously, I pre-recorded that, but the 5th Friday Night 1 tournament should have the sign-up over here now at PlaySDL.com. Link down below. All of these buttons are clickable. Big thanks to the guys who helped creating this. And uh, yeah, PlaySDL.com is around here. Vorno League also, and Steel River League also had some great prize pool. Thanks to you guys around as well uh, as we got up to $700 for Warner League Season 0, with much more than I hoped for, and uh, Steel Division League Season 8, also a nice $500 prize pool. So, big thanks to all of you supporters there. We will use Matarino more next year as well, and go through that, and get that bigger. And then, yep, big thanks also to all your support on Twitch, as we grew over 1,500 followers around 1,500 followers on Twitch this year. We grew over 2,100 followers on YouTube. Um, it goes even so far that I now created a second channel, uh, SD League Uncut, where we also have some lovely content here. For example, the Steel Division campaign of the Transylvania, a little play in there, and some other things that don't quite have the space on the main channel anymore, because there's already that much content flying around, so. Um, yeah, check out play uh, SD League Uncut if you haven't followed that yet. A lot of good casts here as well from the Twitch that didn't quite make it to the YouTube because I couldn't recut them. Uh, would have been too time consuming, but a lot of content here. I planned for 2023 is to get this to 1,000 subscribers as well. So every little subscribe helps out there a lot as well. And yeah, 2,100 here on the YouTube. So. Big thanks there for all of this support. And now let's talk future. Let's talk what is to come for 2023. So, so the plan for 2023 looks as follows. For Steel Division 2, we will for sure continuing the leaks. Uh, we will go around the same format that we had for season 9, for season 10, 11, and 12. Hopefully with in Division 5 again for Season 10, but with the same 8, 16, 16, 16, 16 format, um, 11 and 12 coming around as well. Uh, I think the base format is really solid by, for the League by now, and we just will continue doing that. Season 10, obviously, is the big anniversary. Already really hyped for that. We will do some events around that for sure. We will do general launch, uh, launches again. We will do all of that stuff. We also obviously will continue with the side events like Hey Robert will continue with the monthly tournaments and the uh, beginner tournaments. We will also do stuff like the Terrible Division tournament and so on and do that. And then we also will support Vulcan HD Gaming with his massive tournament event that he is the uh, Vulcan HD Invitational that should come around at the beginning of the year. And we will support Badger Jelly with his 2v2 league that should also come around earlier in 2023. If you haven't heard about that yet, come around on the Discord and or the Bootcamp Discord. Um, you can find information about the 2v2 league on those. And yeah, try to get yourself into a bit of a team game competition as well. And then Wano, we obviously will have Wano League Season 1, 2 and potentially 3, depending on when Wano launches. We will absolutely continue the Friday Night Warners. They are really, really amazing. And they're a lot of fun with, to talk with the developers. Uh, we will also continue running tournaments between the seasons, uh, like a Warner League Super Tournament, for example. Maybe a smaller, uh, like a bit more chilled event, like we did with the monthlies before, to keep people warm, to keep people in tournament mode. And have the people who want to come around come around and then possibly also launching a team league for Wano depending on how well the game does how big the team game community is if people are really hyped for that let us know in the comments let us know on the discord and we will try to figure out something there 
I will try to make something work there. Nebulous, I will continue running tournaments around the bigger patches. Whenever there is a bigger patch, a couple of weeks later, we will have a tournament for Nebulous Fleet Command. Absolutely loving the game. The new spectator mode is absolutely beautiful. And once the game is closer to launch, we also, I also plan to try to get a monthly tournament series going there. Um, we we'll hope that my um, launch is in 2023, maybe 2024, but yeah, that's nevertheless. And then two games that we don't have in the roster yet. Company of Heroes 3 is looking pretty promising. So I am uh, currently trying to organize a small tournament series around the launch of Company of Heroes 3 in February. More information about that soon. And you know, trying to get them culminating in one bigger event later. Trying to talk currently with some of the content creators of the COH scene and some other content creators from other games and from Steel Division series to try to get uh, some event together to get us in there at launch. As Company of Heroes 3 looks like a pretty lovely uh, RTS to come around, really close to what these, uh, what Company of Heroes 1 and 2 were around back then, and that might be a good game. I really enjoyed the gameplay that Vulcan had there, so we give it a shot. Let's see what comes out of there. Broken Arrow, we will see how that game when that game will come out and how it will come out. If the multiplayer is good, I'm absolutely up for running some events there. Uh, yeah, let's see how that game supports it. And obviously, we will also keep an eye out for other RTS that we can make tournaments in or that I can make a play playthrough on YouTube, on tw uh, Twitch. As you can see, currently on the channel, I started a Radio Commander playthrough, a uh, general playthrough, for example. And I, on the side channel, I play a multiplayer game of Strategic Command, World War One. Like, all strategy games are welcome, but Steel Division and Wano will stay the focus. The Eugen games are really close to my heart. They are absolutely lovely, and the community here is obviously basically built around that. So keeping this as the core of the channel will be still a thing. Uh, we will put most of our uh, energy into these league seasons and air. So that one only season one can be even better than the zero, and Steel Division League season ten can be blowing everything out of the park that we have done for Steel Division so far. With that said, I hope you will have a good jump into 2023. I hope to see you there, and I'm looking forward to having you back next time. See ya. Bye bye.